Welcome back to Classmates Pelvi Season 9, presented by Classmates, powered by the Times of India. This is an initiative by Radio Mirchi. Before the break, I'd ask you what the origin of the phrase neck and neck is. Well, neck and neck originates from the exciting sport of horse racing. So when two horses were equally fast, they ran with their necks close to each other. So let's get back to the fast and funny words, our exciting spelling race. Well, the game is on, and now only two of our three spellers will make it through to round three. Let me briefly tell you the rules of round two. I will ask each of you to spell four words, and you will be given 10 points for each word spelt correctly. In the event of a tie, we will have a tie-breaking round on the buzzer. Those of you who have used your Classmate Connect option, that will no longer be available to you, so that's Garv, you. Aryansh and Steve, you still do have that option available to you. The two of you who do make it through to round three, let me remind you what you're playing for. You're playing not only for this magnificent trophy, not only for a cash prize worth 50,000 rupees courtesy classmate, but most importantly for that place in the finals of Classmate Spell B Season 9. Let's begin round two. Let's call to the podium Gulf Jain from St. Michael's in Shiliguri. So, Gulf, the competition is pretty intense. All three of you are tied with 20 points apiece. In round two, the words may get a little tougher. You do not have your classmate connect option available to you, so you have to rely only on your internal spell check. All the very best. Your first word for 10 points is for catcher. Meaning, please? A type of flat Italian bread made with yeast and olive oil and flavoured with herbs. Focaccia. Focaccia. That is correct. F-O-C-C-A-C-C-I-A. -C 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 -A. Very close, but I'm afraid that's incorrect. The accurate spelling is F-O singular C. A C C I A, which means we cannot give you points for that. And we move now to your second word in round two. That word is scurrilous. Scurrilous. Yeah. Usage in a sentence. Movie stars spend half their time working and half the time fighting off scurrilous rumors. S C U. R R U L O U S. Scurrilous. I'm afraid that's incorrect. Again, off by just one letter. S C U R R I L O U S is the accurate spelling. Don't lose heart. You have two words remaining in round two, which could take your total up to 40 points. The words do get tougher, but they're tougher for everyone here. Your third word for 10 points is. Bloviate. Usage in a sentence. Despite any reasonable progress, he loves to bloviate about his so-called hard work. Bloviate. That is correct. B-L-O-V-I-A-T-E. Absolutely correct. It's nice to see you smiling. Your last word in round two is Solicism or solicism? Solicism. That is correct. Origin of the word? It is Greek via Latin. Greek via Latin. Usage in a sentence? She can understand French confidently, but her writing contains a solicism every two lines. Solicism. S O L I C I S M. Solicism. Off by just one letter. I'm afraid the accurate spelling is S-O-L-E-C-I-S-M, which means we cannot give you points for that. At the end of round two, Gurv, your total stands at 30 points. Well played. Let's welcome now back to the podium, Aryansh from DPS Indrapuram in Ghaziabad. You're currently tied with Steve at 20 points apiece. Gurv has moved on a little bit. He's now at 30 points. I'm also happy to tell you that you only need to spell two words correctly to qualify for round three. All the very best. Your first word is 
cisgender. Cisgender. That is correct. May I have the definition, please? Denoting or relating to a person whose sense of personal identity and gender corresponds with their birth sex. S I S G E N D E R. What do our classmates think? How would you spell it? C I S. I'm afraid they're right and you're wrong. The accurate spelling is C I S G E N D E R. No matter, three words remain. Your second word for 10 points is elude. 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 Its definition, please. To trick or delude. I L L U D E. You're right. <laughs> Only one word left to spell correctly, and you're through to round three. Your third word is gop. Its definition, please. To stare openly in a stupid or rude manner. Its language of origin? It is of Middle English origin. G A U P E. I'm afraid that's incorrect. The accurate spelling is G A W P. Aryan, you have one word left to spell in round two, and you do have your classmate connect option still available to you. Now is the time to use it if you need it because it will not be available to you henceforth. Your word to spell is chambray. It's usage in a sentence. With summer around the corner, it's time to bring out my collection of chambray shirts. You do have three eager classmates ready to help you out if you need it. Uh, C H A M B R E. Classmates, what do we think? Uh, is it C H A M B R A I S? Are you three in agreement? Relatively, yeah. I'm afraid they're wrong, but I'm afraid you are also wrong. The accurate spelling of chambray is C H A M B R A Y. It means that Aryansh, you don't get points for that. At the end of round two, Aryansh, your total is 30 points. Please have a seat. And now, here's a mystery for all you spelling sleuths out there. What is the origin of the phrase private eye? Crack the case before we return from our break. You're watching Classmates Spell Beasties 9, powered by The Times of India. <laughs>